a multifaceted entrepreneur from Trinidad and Tobago, embarking on his entrepreneurial journey back in 2014, founded a fashion business that showcased his creativity through bow ties, messenger bags, shoes, and concept designs. With an innovative air filtration tech helmet under his belt as well. This morning, Jude Mark, founder and CEO of Jude Mark Incorporated, is getting ready to tell us about his latest invention, if you will, and give us some more insights on how he has used his many, many talents to rightfully earn national awards and continue to inspire us. Good morning and welcome to the Now Morning Show, Jude. Good morning, Ayinka. Nice to be here and good morning to all the viewers at home also. Now, I know I, I kind of skipped across from fashion to uh, innovative air filtration here, helmet. I'm sure somebody home is like, how did we get here? <laughs> uh, so give me a little bit of insight to the person who doesn't know my fellow under 40, 40 under 40 uh, of recipient of an award as well. Give me a little context as to who exactly Jude Mark is. Right. So back in 2014, I started a fashion brand, Jude Mark designer brand, and I started making different types of bow ties, shirts. Uh, well, now I start making shoes also. And um, during the pandemic, I decided to transition to a tech company because um, I realized that why should we allow a virus to stop us from functioning? So I decided to create a uh, technology that could allow us to continue to go about daily lives, regardless of what pollution or viruses is in the air. Dude, how did you transition from those two? Because it's very unlikely that a, a fashion <laughs> focused person would have a tech background. So where did the education for that come from? Well, I have a very diverse background, a, a lot of different skills. Um, I love technical drawing, I also love physics. So I'm deep into the, to those sciences. So I teach myself a lot of these skills that I know. So when um, the issue came up, I decided to dig into the science and apply it to some wearable technology. And that's how I, I was, it was easy to make the transition. So having the background in tech, um, technical drawing, being an animator, I was able to do the industrial designs for the product. Ah, and now we're bridging the gap. Now, you therefore have that architectural visualization <coughs> down pat. I mean, it's what we were seeing in the introduction as well. Yeah. And I imagine that's where we're going to in terms of the future of Jude Mark Incorporated. Yeah, well, that's, what, that's actually a new skill, to, skill I learned this year. So I received a job to do architectural visualization project for real estate property. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I do technical drawing, I do animation, so I might as well. Easy and it things. was really easy. Um, I mean, it was painstaking. It's not an easy thing to do. Exactly. I mean, it's painful. Like, I did it on my own. That's usually a three-man project. But um, it was possible, and I was able to do it um, really efficiently. Okay, so I'm going to back up a bit because we then need to break down all of the different sets of skills, if you will, that you've explored thoroughly. Because it seems like none of them have stopped existing. <laughs> we still have fashion going on. You said shoes are a new thing. Yeah. We still have technological advancements being an option and mm. now the 3D rendering and additional mm. skills yeah. being explored. Yeah. So where is the latest bit of focus? If we were to look, for example, to the <coughs> fashion, where are we there? Well, the shoes, that's, that's basically the new thing that I'm focusing on. Uh, well, the shirts, the, the um, ties, that kind of thing, they have their place. But um, Jude Mark Incorporated, um, launching as a tech startup in the US, um, the focus is now shifting to the air filtration tech helmet. That has had some challenges with regards to Trinidad not having like a thriving tech industry. Mm. I, I want to be one of the, the, the forces to try and promote that in Trinidad to also open the way for others who would want to get into tech. So that's why um, I'm focusing right now on raising funding to build the prototype for the air filtration tech helmet. Mm. So the visuals that we're seeing right now would be the mechanics, the yeah. aesthetics thereof. So these designs, so what you would see first was the, the air filtration tech helmet mm -hmm. that would have an onboard computer that will be able to do universal translation you could speak to someone in any language. It could listen, translate, give you information on the headphones. It will have a thermoelectric system to provide hot and cool air based on the weather. And it also has a magnetic levitation electric motor on the inside. So that is a totally new invention. Well, I didn't see anything like that in the US patent uh, registry office when I um, did the research. But when I graduated from the Fauna Institute, um, I had to do the research on the um, maglev technology. You mentioned the Founders Institute very casually, but this is one of the world's largest pre-seed accelerators. Uh, essentially a very big deal. Yeah. So, <laughs> How did you um, get into that? Well, I tried everything I could in Trinidad at first. I tried every incubator and accelerator. I got rejected. And um, 
I decided I was literally crying on the floor during 2020. <laughs> Because I spent like four months not knowing what day or time it was inventing this product. I stayed in the country with my family and just design, design, design. And um, eventually I turned to the US and the Found Institute responded. They have a psychographic aptitude test that you have to take to get into the Found Institute that has a 14% acceptance rate and a 30% graduation rate. So when I applied, there was 1,200 CEOs. Mm -hmm. Only 200 got accepted. And out of the 200 that got accepted, only 19 were able to graduate, including my tech startup. So it's no wonder that you would have received the recognition from the Youth Development Ministry, that is my DNS, uh, for the Youth Champion Creativity in Technology Innovation at the 2022 Awards. Yeah. Congratulations therein. Yeah, that, that was amazing because um, after I got so much rejection in 2020, as I turned, I gave up on me, but then they came through and I was like, I got the award for all that hard work. It was really emotional. I yeah. can only imagine. Now, this also means that you're not eligible for this year's. I think it's every three years that you're allowed to be nominated yeah, or something like that. Yeah, I guess, that. yeah. Dang, <laughs> it. But I mean, that time you can put in, we can come up with something else very innovative. Yeah. Because in terms of the latest project, that architectural visualization, your plans for sharing your entrepreneurial expertise, if you will, is how we're going to see you this time around, right? This is where we are. Yeah, well, um, I really need, at, at this point, is promoting Jude Mark Incorporated, all the different um, skill sets we have, services, because right now it's bootstrapping to um, fund the invention, right. which is a long, um, painstaking process. So I do architectural visualization and the fashion. I even worked with a couple of companies also over the past year or two. Uh, I took on employment also just to get the funding to build this prototype. But that too is such a slow process. I need to get into the grant funding, the Series A funding, in order to get this invention going. Because um, a lot of companies started copying the visual design of the invention, but they have not been able to copy the, the, um, the intellectual property on the internals of the invention. So the maglev motor, all these different things, um, because of how it's designed, um, it's, it's designed to work close to the human body. So um, persons can really copy that, you know. Um, for, if I could just mention a little point on the maglev motor, this, it gets me really excited. Um, it doesn't have a shaft or bearings like a regular uh, um, okay. electric motor. All right. So the rotor actually floats on magnetic fields constantly. So there's no um, vibration or, right. or friction or heat generated as a result. Right, so for human it's comfort. silent, mm -hmm. no vibration. And that's the problem my competitors were having when they try to copy it. So. Um, that's the edge we have. Mm. And I think that, could, that technology could really do a lot for other industries like wind, uh, turbine energy, of that course. kind of thing, renewable energy. Especially if we're talking about wearable things. And, and perhaps that combination of your fashion background along with the technology is why we're seeing that beauty. But that means then it may buy you some time to build more funds towards that end. Do we have a yeah. timeline perhaps that we could check in with you to see how far things have progressed? Yeah, I'd love to be back soon and um, probably the next time I come, I would like to be here with the prototype, with the built-out prototype, because it was verified by an aerospace engineer, uh, the CEO of a space company in the US, that's um, Joel Cecil. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who he was when he had to verify the, te the technology at the Phone Institute. They told us we needed to get a uh, CEO to verify the tech, to right. see if it's viable. viable. Mm -hmm. So I just reached out to a random CEO. It turned out to be him. I was... If I didn't get him, I would get kicked out of the program. Right. So he came on, he drilled me on the science of the, 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 the project, and because he had to give me a hand signed approval, letter of approval, he tested me. I, I develop a system on the device that most persons in the um, energy industry don't really like, which is just a secondary component, not necessary. So he shouted at me and said, it will not work, dude. And I was like, this guy shouting at me, I just met him for the first time. I said, hey, what? You're the expert. You teach me. I want to learn from you. He said, Jude, that's your right attitude. You reach very far. I realized he was testing me because he had to put his signature on this. So the, the invention is viable. It's possible to build. And um, he turned out to be the, the CEO of, a, as I said, a space company. Um, they, their objective is to build the first gas station on the moon. Uh, he even has an asteroid named after him. So to have somebody like that to verify it, it was really um, spectacular. Well, it is spectacular in terms of your accomplishments, Jules, and I'm sure somebody looking on is very much inspired and very much curious, like we are, to be able to check in on that timeline and see how things have progressed. How do we connect with you? 
Um, you could just Google me, person <laughs> You could actually find me if you Google my name. You, you just Google my name and you'll see Jude Mark. You do an image search. Um, or just type in um, designer underscore Jude underscore Mark and you'll get my Instagram. <laughs> that was so... <laughs> just Google me. He's here on the Now Morning Show creating incredible inventions and a marvelous future that we hope to be a part of, Jude. Come back anytime, yeah? Thank you very much, Anka. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. And of course, guys, we hope you're inspired enough to stick around for the next bit of talk here on the Now Morning Show after these messages.